with number two down, Nipsey Russell. Number three down, Rosemary Forsythe. Number five across, James Hampton. And number one across, Elaine Joyce. Let's meet the keeper of the crosswits, Jack Clark. Oh, thank you. Good group. Hi, how are you? Good to be with you again. I hate to see this week end. It's uh, been a great that, week, hasn't it? It's been a beautiful some week. Crazy, wonderful really times. Ahead. And now it's the guys against the girls, uh, as we, we do don't every even Friday. We that. I know. <laughs> it's been <laughs> such fun. <laughs> we have some fun. Do you have a word for us, Nips? Yes. George Washington threw a silver dollar across the Rappahannock one day, and ever since then, politicians in Washington been throwing our money away. <laughs> I never thought that son of a gun with the wooden teeth, he started the whole thing, I didn't he? Dog I <laughs> Fantastic. Let us meet our captains, Jerry Bishop. Okay, Jack, Nipsey, and James. Your team captain is a former Golden Glove boxer, but he gave it up because he kept on getting hit. He's Mark Bernicke. You know, the Rosemary, your team captain is a secretary who moved to L.A. to get married. From Fort Worth, she's Peggy Forster. That's good news. All right, well, welcome, Peggy and Mark, and good luck to you. Uh, let's uh, do what we came to do, and that's solve the mysteries of our crossword puzzles by looking at the clues up there. And we give you points for the words, and we give you points to solve it and prizes. And uh, we almost had this happen last time out. One of our contestants almost ran up a 1,000 points, and if you do that, we give you $1,000 right on the spot, no delay. And you got the money in cash? I got cash. the money in my pocket in cash. Wow. Ready to move on out. We're about due to give away a car, too. That happens on the second puzzle. Solve the first puzzle, you get first crack at the second puzzle, put one word on there and solve it, and you drive home in this car. Jerry? Oh, those wheels are on the 210. Most affordable car of them all. You can economize without compromise with the beautiful 210 furnished by Datsun. And you can keep your car looking new with Turtle Extra Car Wax. Extra easy, extra durable, extra brilliant. Turtle Extra Car Wax in liquid, a new soft paint. Peggy and Mark, good luck to you. Okay, and Peggy, uh, you got all kinds of good luck going for you. You won the toss backstage. You and the ladies will begin. And our other pretty lady, Jerry Fiala, is prepared to help us. And away we go. Okay, three down, please, Jack, with Elaine. All right, we're looking for an event. And it's a six-letter word uh, for you, Elaine. It's uh, not duck down, but someone might duck down on this down. Touchdown. No. Goose down. No. Uh, someone, feather down. Someone might duck down on this down. Duck down. Hugh Downs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> duck down on this down. Touchdown. No. Countdown. Pe Peggy? Uh, falling. No. Oh, no. Oh, heck. All right, guys, take Is over, Mark. I like uh, three down with Nipsey Russell. Please. It's not duck down, but someone might duck down on this down. Nipsey? I don't know. He thinks he knows. I think it's Epsom down. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. No. Uh, fall down. Duck down. Uh, Knock down. We'll find out if he knows, Mark. Fourth down. Right. Fourth down. That's right. Oh, well done. Is that football? Yeah, so. Fourth uh, down? That's football, yeah. Fourth oh, thank down. you. Yeah. Or a bad oh, night for a good fighter. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> Watch the referee. Yeah. Uh, can I have five across, please? Sure you can. James, it's for you. It's a four-letter word. Uh, and has a U, second one. It might be the time of year a brown cow gives hot chocolate time of year. A brown cow might give uh, hot chocolate. Uh, winter, summer, spring, fall, um, um, punt. <laughs> um. Time of year, Mark. Is it July? It is July. You're a fine player. This, this fellow knows how to play this game, yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah, 4th of July, we see it right away. Okay. Mm. Oh, I'd like one across, please. Nipsey, it's for you. Six-letter word, uh, none there yet. Uh, this place is a lot like a funny farm for southern ladies uh, because they both have cracked bells. <laughs> cracked bells? 
this place. This place? This place is a lot like a funny farm for southern ladies. Both have cracked bells. Philadelphia, Liberty, uh, uh... Mark. Um, mansion. No, no. Don't give it Okay, one Peggy, <laughs> you get it back with Rosemary. <gasps> okay. Okay, seven down, please, Joe. Across, please. Joe. Yeah, I was going to say we didn't have yeah. a seven down. Uh, we got uh, seven across where eight letters ends in a T, uh, Rosemary. Uh, you will find one in a lawyer's briefs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, oh, you, you'll my, you'll one find one mind. in a lawyer's briefs. Uh, uh, I don't know. A, a, a will, a, a codicil, a, a jockey short. No, Peggy. I know uh, she depositions too long. No, not with the T. Elaine may know it. Mark, you dodged it and got it back. Oh, no. James is up. All right, I'd like six down, please. Here it comes, a three-letter word for you, uh, Jim, none there. This important message just came in over the wire. In Hollywood today, cartoon star Porky convicted in court for non-support of Petunia. Looks like a few years in the pig what for pig. Porky. Yeah, the, the pig, pig pen. That's right. All right, seven across, please. Nipsey, back again. Uh, has an E and a T in it, we now know. You'll find Document. one... What? Document. You got a document, right. 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 And a lawyer's brief. That's right. a lawyer's brief. Right you go, Can I call it a conference, please? You're no. the captain. Do any darn right, thing you want. You. Seven seconds, an event. <laughs> What are we talking about, Mark? Uh, the signing of the Declaration of Independence. You, you did it, exactly. <laughs> I, I just noticed that the, 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 uh, the mystery of the puzzle is longer than the puzzle, isn't it? Signing yeah, of the I'm Declaration fine. of Independence. Yeah, this, you were very close to it, Nipsey, but you had to be right on. Uh, this place is a lot like a funny farm for southern ladies. They both have cracked bells. Philly. Philadelphia. Philly. You did right, say Philadelphia, term. but you didn't fit there. It didn't come close. Uh, ink is four across, and uh, two down was Hancock, John Hancock, and the rest are up there in the document. Uh, well done. Mark, you're a fine player. You got 310 points. Yeah, I did. That and a know. prize. Here it is. How about a dining room, Mark? It's right. from Broy Hill, a seven piece French dining room in warm cherry finish design for today's living with cane back chairs and Broy Shield protective laminated tabletop by Broy Hill. Nice going, Mark. And Mark, uh, you have earned the right to start the next puzzle, and that's where you could win an automobile. We'll see if you're lucky and smart about that in a couple of minutes. Stay there, please. Some of our contestants will receive Polyglycode Sound Shield with the noisy underside of your car, not an undercoating. Polyglycode's a sound shield available at new car dealers only. Or quench your nail glaze, linked in shining shades, color coordinated with lip quencher lipstick. Nail glaze called the chip quencher because it's so hard to chip. A sorts the breath that keeps your mind off your mouth for an hour. Mud shirts, how to sappy new cinnamon flavor. Or from the Jovan perfume collection for women, musk oil, sex appeal, BSP, sports scent, and women by Jovan. And now, here's Jack. Oh, yeah. Jerry Bishop, and uh, oh my that goodness. sounded like a car blowing out. The old Maxwell just drove up. Yes, Mark, you solved that last puzzle. You get to start this puzzle. One word and a solution, and you get the car. But watch out, the ladies uh -huh. are really ready. Yeah. Oh. All right, I'd like three down with Nipsey Russell, please. Go get him. Nipsey. Five letter word for you, Nipsey. Sounds like a dreaming teenage girl thinking about getting married uh, might be what to fill up her chest. Mm -hmm. A what now? Give me that. Yeah, a sounds dream. like a dreaming teenage girl thinking about getting married might be what to fill up her chest. To fill up a hope chest, she might be hoping. Hoping to fill up her <laughs> chest, that's right. <laughs> now a decision, Mark. First word on the puzzle. I'll have to go for points. Yeah, that might not lead you to the right place. We are looking for a person, James Hampton. All right, I'd like six across, please. Here it comes, Jim. Six-letter word. O's the second one. Uh, describes Merv Griffin's coconuts. Ha! <laughs> oh, he made a song. I've got plenty of... Uh, as I've got a lovely, lovely, lovely... Lovely bunch of coconuts, that's right. 
Strike two down, please. Nipsey, four-letter word for you. Why at the end? Uh, uh, feeling lucky, Lucky Luciano went to Vegas to try his luck with what luck, and with luck later luck out with some lucky what? Lucky yeah. lady. Yeah. Lady, right. Yeah. Yeah. Lady uh, Luck and yeah. Can I have one down, please? Okay, you certainly may. Uh, Jim, it's for you a four letter word, E at the end. Uh, during the blackout, actor Mr. Ferrer was extremely upset that he couldn't read before bedtime. Uh, his wife told him to wait until morning. In fact, her exact words were, What uh, you can see by the dawn's early light. <laughs> Oh, say, can. <laughs> yes. That's a good one. <laughs> Halfway to a thousand, Mark. I'd like four across, please. Nipsey. It's a three letter word, none there. Uh, Teddy was the first one up this hill. Up what hill? This hill. Teddy Roosevelt mm -hmm. was the first one up San Juan San Hill. Juan hill. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'd like five down, please. James, it's a five-letter word, uh, A at the beginning. When all the hoopla started for Mr. Landon at the 1936 convention, a gum-chewing, callous, disrespectful young Republican turned to him and said, what's it all about, who? Oh. <laughs> said, Alfie, what's it all about? <laughs> what's it all about, <laughs> Alfie? Alfie. Right, Alfie Landon. <laughs> uh, do you have any idea? Not yet. Seven across, please. All right, uh, Nipsey, it's a six-letter word for you. We're running out of puzzle yeah, right now. An I and an N. Sounds like what Colonel Sanders might be doing when he's pulling his chicken bones. <laughs> well, if he ain't flicking, he must be licking. No. No? No. Singing, uh, pulling his chicken, wishing. He's wishing yeah. that he's pulling his chicken bones. All right, the puzzle is completely filled up, Mark. All you got left to do is talk it over for seven seconds and tell us the person. Got it. I don't know where That's it. 740 would be your score, Mark. Is it Deanne Warwick? It sure is. Very good. Do you know the way to San Jose? One of her great hits, uh, Alfie, wishing and hoping. And she certainly is a lovely lady. Been on the show, as a matter of fact. But her new hit is called I'll Know I'll Never Love That Way Again. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I haven't heard that one yet. Oh, wow. Mark, you are three quarters of the way to $1,000, and you've got a prize. Here it is. Right. Hey, Mark, it's a moped. Mopeds hey, from right. Saks. Right. Superbly right. engineered mopeds imported from Germany, built to give you the best in fun, safety, service, and economy, because quality counts, Saks. Congratulations, Mark. Well, I do not think that was very gentlemanly of them, Peggy, Elaine, and Rosemary. They didn't even give you a try at the puzzle. I we would do turn... every single answer, too. Well, of course, I know you did. There's no doubt of that. And, but you can turn the tables on them. The next puzzle is yours. We'll get that ready and come right back. Stay All there. we want is a chance. Thank you, Jerry. We better hurry along, Peggy. We are looking for things, and boy, do you need to catch up. Okay, let's go with one down with Rosemary oh, Forsyth. Five letters for you, Rosemary. On a family tree, it might be said that little kids are just what? Branches? No. Branch, uh, uh, On a appendage. family tree, it might be said that little kids are just what? Youth, uh... Family tree. Family tree. Uh, leaves? Leaf? Leaf. Um... Little kids are just what on a family? Stems. What? Stems. No. Mm. Doggone it, gals. Gee whiz. Mark, it's I'd up like, to you. I'd like one down with James Hampton, please. All right. Same one on a family tree. It yeah. might be said the little limbs, kids are... Jack. Huh? Limbs. You're wrong. Okay. The little kids are just what? Little kids are just... Not limbs. Same it's twigs. Man. Twigs. Yeah. So what they are. Yeah, they're twigs. Yeah. Right. What's the problem? Like four across, please. Four across, uh, four-letter word for you, Nips. Uh, second one is an I. At the optimistic Ospreys convention, seldom was heard a discouraging what? Void. No. At the Ospreys convention. Now, what's that? Osprey. 
Osprey seldom was heard a discouraging a song, sing, wing, sing. Mark. Him. No. <laughs> okay, Peggy, take advantage of this. Elaine's up. Okay, six across, please, Jack. Four-letter word uh, has an S at the beginning. <laughs> Chicken what? <laughs> ah. Chicken <laughs> soup. Of course. <laughs> yes. Two down, please. Rosemary. Uh, Four-letter word, rhyme time. A baseball player's destined to roam from New York to the famed Astrodome. He enjoys all those places, but when it gets down to cases, he'll tell you there's no base like home. Like home, right on. Uh, five across. Elaine, uh, first one, four-letter word, E at the beginning. Uh, you might see them next to pig parts. I'm sorry. You might pig see them next to pig parts. <laughs> pig parts. Yeah. Parts, yeah. Parts of pigs. Ah. All right. Ears. Uh, see them next to pig parts. Eve's eyes. Uh, next to. No idea. No idea. Don't take that. Dog we don't bunny. want that. Mark, it's Can over I to you with James. Can I have three down, please? Sure you can. A four-letter word for you, Jim, and uh, on their spelling variation. You can see a lot of them hanging around tourists. Lays? Yes, oh. yes, good for you. Good for you. Oh. Eight, 830 to you. Now you can take five. Across. I'll take five across. Nipsey, it's for you. You might see them next to pig parts, E and a S. Pig part might be a ham or bacon, so maybe eggs. You are dead right, eggs, bacon and eggs. One, one last up, up there, Mark. Uh, four across, please. This is the only one, and James... Uh, wait a minute, hold it. Wait, hold it now. You are at 870. This is a four-letter word. If you put it up there, Jim, and solve the puzzle, all three of you, not only is it a win for the day, but it's an extra $1,000 in cash for Mark. So everything's riding on this one. We'll congratulate you for your win in a moment, Mark. I don't want to break your line of thought. Four-letter word, Jim. At the optimistic Ospreys convention, seldom was heard a discouraging what? Uh, oink. Um, uh, wine. Wine. Um, oh, I, it's discouraging. Ospreys convention, a uh, discouraging wish. Rat. No. No. That's what I thought it was. No. Oh, I. Oh, what is an you, osprey, not, by the way? An osprey yeah. is like a, a bird. Uh, a discouraging bird. A uh, discouraging bird. bird. And that's what Who happened. It came with that. Alex knew what an osprey was. Osprey is a bird. Well, unless you're another osprey, who cares? But, you know, but the, in this case, it cared a lot. It came that close to $1,000. But we never did stop long enough to congratulate Mark for winning the day. Nice going. <laughs> And I know but you didn't get that word up there, so we couldn't yeah. give you a shot at the puzzle, which uh, nests, as you might uh, guess, of course. Bird lays eggs in his nest, twigs, and a uh, bird nests soup, uh, and all of those things. Well, doggone it. Was that nest huh. soup? Huh? I didn't hear tired of the word soup in there again. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, uh, well, let's see, what did I get? Soup, yeah. Bird's nest soup. Delicacy oh, in the oriental menu, Rats. I'm there told. Is such a thing? Sure. I have been told that, yes. Uh, well, if it don't run wild and you can't fry it in hog fat, it ain't fit to eat. <laughs> well, Peggy, gosh, it was uh, just too tough a job today. The guys uh, seemed to be their turn, didn't it? Uh, we have nice things for you backstage Thanks. and hope you enjoyed yourself. I and did. Uh, best Sorry. wishes on your coming home. Mark, uh, you are cooking, so let's keep it up. Win yourself a vacation trip on the Crossfire Round. That's two minutes away. Stay there, please. Bernicke <laughs> has uh, proved to us and to everybody that he's a fine player of this here game. You've won the moped and the dining room set and uh, more to That's come great. yet. Came within just a gnat's lash of uh, getting that $1,000 and another prize, too. But uh, now you've uh, got a vacation to win. Which of those guys are going to help you? Well, Nipsey seems to be hot right now, so I think I'll oh, take yeah. him. Okay. Okay, Nip, that's good. Come on. All right.
right, we let's do it, you guys. Let's make up for that other thing that didn't happen there. Uh, we'll start that clock on you as soon as you ask me your first word. Good luck, Mark. One across, please. Every piano has one. Keys, key. keyboard. Yes. Uh, one down. A backpacker has one. Knapsack. Yes. Uh, three across. Please. Washington columnist Jack. Anderson. Yes. Two down, please. Uh, two words. Robert Urich's character in Vegas. Uh, Dan Tanner. Good. Four across, wow. please. Uh, it's all over all of us. Um, four down. Skin. Please. Yes, it is. Four down to droop. Uh, Say. Seven. Yes. Seven across, please. Nice. Uh, good. Yeah. Five across, please. What you catch a mouse with. Uh, Trap. Yes. Six down. Uh, American author Edgar Allan. Oh. Yes. A periodical. Uh, a, a book. A, a periodical. News, a, a print. Periodical. A, a paper. A periodical. A, a paper. A, a page. A, uh, a page. A periodical. Uh, wow. Magazines, uh, books. A, a periodical. periodical. A periodical. Uh, time. A periodical. Uh, mag uh, no, it's name. Time. A book. Uh, life. Life! Yeah. Yeah. To me, you guys. Oh, wow. I'm I never so would have thought you of... flashed on that. Yes, you were name. looking for a name and yeah. then you came up with time. A periodical, not a... Oh, wow. wow. Okay, you made up for it with nine. <laughs> yeah, tell about you. I'm going right into intensive care after this. <laughs> tell the man what he wants, Jerry. Okay, Jack. Mark, how about some spacious roomy luggage by American tourists? It is designed to go everywhere by land, sea, or air. One piece molded construction, non spring locks, foam rubber padded handles, the strong, lightweight luggage by American tourists. And Mark, you can use your luggage in your trip for two to Hawaii. All right. Club Universal Fly to Hawaii for an 11 day, four hour tour. Stay at lovely hotels. Discover the Aloha spirit on this Club Universe holiday. Nice going, Mark. Yeah, yeah, Mark. All right, the dining room, the moped, the luggage, Hawaii. Nice going, Mark. Nice to have you on the show. Hey, it's been just so good, Elaine. And you come back again with you, young lady, and the days of our lives. Oh, yeah, Rosemary. Nipsey, as always. Jimmy, as always. Soon again, I hope. Uh, Jack Clark, Jerry Fial, I'll see you next time. Bye bye. All trips awarded on the Crosswitz are subject to availability. This is Jerry Bishop speaking. The Crosswitz is a Ralph Edwards production.